Hey guys, hope you guys are doing great. This is a vlog of my visit to Bangladesh, which is where I grew up as a missionary kid. Uh, my mom and I made a three-week visit there right before my grad. Um, and so in this vlog, you'll be able to see my parents' mission field and the amazing work that God's been doing through them. Um, for me, I'm visiting again after seven to eight years, and so I'm over the moon about the fact that I get to re-experience my childhood in a country I call home. We made a transfer from China, and while we were waiting for the next flight, I read a book called The Gospel According to Jesus by John MacArthur. The part I read was about Lordship Salvation, which means that for someone to be saved, they must not only trust Jesus as his Savior from sin, but must also commit to him as Lord of his life and submit to his sovereign authority. And in no time, we landed in Bangladesh. And the moment I got off the plane, I instantly could recognize the smell of Bangladesh in the best way possible. The air, the people, the sound, <laughs> just brought back so many memories already. It was amazing to see the busy streets of Dhaka once again with all the rickshaws, the CNGs, and the people just walking across the street. We went to a local store to have some breakfast and had omelette, dal, vegetable curry, and some naan. Okay, <laughs> On Fridays, which is the day of worship in Islam, hence the weekend, we hold services for these children where we get to sing and learn about Jesus and the gospel. During the sermon, my mom preached about the importance of searching for the truth because after our life on earth, there will be a day of judgment where God will judge us of all the things that we've done and whether we had given our life to Jesus.
She also mentioned my dad, who passed away of cancer just a couple months ago. She said that although he is no longer here, she is in great peace knowing that because he had believed that Jesus died for his sins, he is now in heaven with God. So at the end of the sermon, she challenged everyone to go search for the truth, to read and study both the Quran and the Bible, and search earnestly for the truth. Knowing the truth is really important because our life after we die depends on it. Another thing I did during the trip was visiting a Christian missions hospital called Oramtula Hospital. It was built back in 1992 by a Korean missionary, and there are still missionaries there serving the hospital in various ways. I also have a really big passion for missions, so this is the kind of place I see myself working at in the future. What really warmed my heart was the fact that every morning, the hospital starts with a short service with all the staff where they sing worship songs and listen to a short sermon. The fact that every morning they start the day off with the word of God was just amazing to witness. <laughs> After the service, I got a short tour of the whole hospital. The next morning, I started the day off with reading the Bible. I read from 2 Chronicles where different kings of Judah were being introduced, both the good and the bad. Chapters 29 and 30, which were the two chapters that I read, talked specifically about King Hezekiah, who was one of the good kings. 
he really worked towards cleansing the temple and reminding the people to focus on their calling and repent from their evil ways as God's chosen people. The king also restored temple worship and kept the Passover, which all ultimately led to a great revival and a time of rejoicing in Judah. Yellow color came on the camera. Chanina, Aninga, Chanina. Oh, can we get a face in the other? Oh, Paki face me. I thought I'm watching Wow, wow, <laughs> Oh, it's so Western style. Oh, it's so Western style. Oh, it's so Western style. I need a shop color. A fresh new morning, and I'm on my way to the Winging Center. There's a flea market going on at the center for all the students where they get to purchase items with the points they have collected throughout the year. And I went alone this morning and the roads were so bumpy and it honestly felt like I was on some roller coaster.